hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing this cute duck set right here um this will be a permanent set so i'm just going to show you guys what i am going to be using so i got my duck tips my e-file from melody Susie, and my nail glue from mccart it's the brush on one i highly recommend using the brush on one over the tube um the brush on one is much stronger um so i'm just etching the inside that I'm going to adhere to my natural nail and this is just going to help it stick much better. I tried to keep this video as short as possible so please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and turn that bell on so you won't miss the next time I post a new video. If you are new, hey boo, welcome to the channel and now what I'm doing is um, I'm using some acetone and some wipes and I'm just wiping off the dust and the oil from my nails and I use that as my prep. I don't put any primer or anything. I literally just use acetone to clean off the shine. I do um, etch the nail bed first and then I go in with my acetone to dehydrate it. But other than that, I don't use anything else. When I'm using poly gel, I would do the same thing and go in with base coat afterwards. After I dehydrated everything, I go in with base coat afterwards and would cure that for 60 seconds. But because I am using acetone, I mean um, acrylic today, um, I do not need base coat. So now I'm just etching the surface of the tips. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my 876 um, acrylic and monomer. I'm just setting everything up, pouring a monomer into my little crown. And I am using baby, well, what is this, bubble pink? I'm using bubble pink today. Um, this is actually my favorite color from her line. This acrylic is so beginner friendly and I do have a code, I believe it's SHAY10 at checkout so you can get some money off so go ahead and check her out. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to do this application process. I will speed this part up. This is actually probably the longest part and doing the um, like the rhinestones and all of that. So majority of this video will be sped up. Again, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and turn that bell on and just go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy this application process. And I know that I have been gone, but I have been bulk recording. So I am just going to be dropping videos um every other day or every two days so just make sure you have your post notifications on you guys
So I went ahead and finished my other two nails off camera and here is how it looks freshly laid and I went ahead and filed my nails off camera. Um, I know you guys still need a filing video from me. Um, that is the longest part of a video. So it's very dreadful when I decide to sit down and do it. I will be honest. Um, because I don't really use my e-file very often. I really hand file a lot. So, um... Yeah, but now I am going in and airbrushing with this darker pink. I mixed like a light pink and a purple together to get this color. Um, and I just wanted it to match the rocky nail that I did off camera. So that's why I'm going in with this color. And then um, you don't really need to cure, but I did like cure a little bit just because... Um, I am still using gel polish, but it's not really needed because when you use your airbrush, you're using acetone, acetone pretty much dries it for you. And now I'm just going in with some white liner gel and I am going to do French tips on my thumbnail, my pointer finger, and my pinky nail. And I wanted to incorporate this powder. Um, I put it on my Rocky nail as well. So I just wanted it to match. So I'm just putting it right over the white gel polish after curing. Um, there is still a sticky tacky layer after you cure any color that you use. So um, it's much easier to put on the powder. Um, you don't have to put any like foil glue or anything like that on there. Um, so now I'm going in to do my middle finger. This is going to be a bedazzled nail. Thank you. 
So I went ahead and finished my middle finger and now I'm just going to place other chunky stones where I want them to be. Um, I was going to explain but I mean I pretty much kind of did like a galaxy kind of theme. So I incorporated moons, stars and stuff like that. Um, my ring finger was kind of be was supposed to be like a galaxy or like the milky way that's what it was kind of giving to me so i ended up going in with a little star on my pinky and then i had the moon i think that was the moon or maybe that was like saturn i think that's saturn or something jupiter one planet whatever it's on my um <laughs> you guys see me put it on my pointer finger so yeah um it was giving space galaxy so that's what we're going with So here's how the nails are looking so far. I am just now going in with some top coat and then I'm going to give you guys those angles because it would be a shade note of video without those angles. I really love how these came out um my nails are still intact except for my pointer finger because I did end up splitting like my nails split um on my nail bed so I did have to put something on top of my nails so it did pop off after the video so that it can heal but I could put it on whenever I want and here is the finished result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and turn that bell on so you won't miss the next time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.